we're outside. It's a good spot to do this. It's kind of smoky. Axel's just sitting here. Today, we're going to try to take... I was going to take these two hangers and replace this pair and that pair. But when it got stuck out here, it looks like that pipe, I mean, we knew that pipe was toast. But I started looking at these in some better light. They're, they're in kind of rough shape, so we'll probably change these two. They're sort of worn. They're kind of junk. I have them. I'm not sure if I can return them now. It's been a little bit while. So that's our focus today. We're going to change up these six with the pipes in the middle. And if we get to it, we're going to take the deck boards off the back here and take these rusted out crossbars out. See if we can get something else in there. I got a bent one here. And there's one else that's rusted out there. I don't know if I'm going to touch that one just because that's going to be kind of tricky with the deck in. I might just put a piece of steel in there for now. And then uh, down the road, if I've changed the deck, I'm sure I'll have to do some more frame repair. But we're going to take these off. And I think the way we're going to do these. So they're welded along the sides here. So three sides, this side, the back. And over here are just a nice fillet weld. So I'm going to actually gouge that out. And this bottom edge, see it overhangs. I might even take the torch and just slice it. I think I can get that off clean. We'll see how it gouges. Maybe we'll gouge it. Maybe we'll uh, slice it. My gouging rod is not as fresh as I'd like. So we'll see how it runs. Got the axles here. I don't think we'll get to it today, but I want to take... The bearings off check the brakes and all that I actually have some parts for that I got a piece of sheet of steel for here cut out to replace this this is the bottom of that front compartment it's pretty uh, pretty bad so I think I got the new piece cut bigger so it'll cover all that stuff and I'll weld it solid and I'll probably try to clean the rust up before I put it back together and, uh, We'll try to do something with it. It's it's not in the best shape. But anyway, see we got our three sets of hangers, our fixed links, our uh, adjustable links are still on the pallet. This is the stuff I was talking about. This is particular stuff is Fox Nut gouging rod. And I had it listed at 250 to 320 amps, so I'm going to run this about 300. And uh, looks like it's probably a 532. You turn this stuff up and... Shoop, Take the weld away. I'll show you how that goes. And last time, remember, we were fighting with bolts. Well, what and I got brand new trailer hardware. We got the nuts in the boxes, too. So, there's that. And we got valve stems, because remember, we broke one of those. And air hoses and all sorts of good little bits. But for today, let's change some hangers. So I started in the middle, I don't know, seemed like a good spot, but one little issue came up with here. I tried gouging, that rod must be old, didn't work very well. So back to the old torch and grinder, much better. Anyway, the old brackets took that size pipe and the new brackets take a bigger pipe dug around I found a few scraps of the bigger pipe but I didn't find a big piece so I used those kind of like bushings stuck the pipe I had in there to line it up I'm gonna get the brackets on I measured everything about 400 times it's 35 and a half inches from that edge to here and from the far edge to there and I measured off these before I uh, cut it off so 
Everything's in place. We're going to get the welder out, zap these two down, and then we'll move on to the next pair of them. And I'll probably have to come back with some appropriately sized pipe. I brought one inch, and it looks like I need... Uh, is that an inch or probably an inch and a quarter pipe instead? So, unless I can find some, and I looked around, didn't see any, so I'll have to go get some of that for next time. I think I have a stick back in the shop, but we'll see when we get the brackets on. There's plenty to do even without the right pipe here, so no biggie. We'll keep moving. This will work. That's got us lined up pretty darn well, and really the springs have enough play that if it's off by quarter of a degree I don't even think it is I measured a lot it'll be fine they're square to the frame they're in the right spot that's all I really need on these they're certainly within a 30 second of an inch where they need to be and it's plenty of precision for this old piece of junk so let me get welding
lots of time doing it. Well, here's the front set. So that's two sets done. One set, two sets. Let's see if before dark I can change these. I'm on the fence there. Not totally bad, but I have them. They're not totally good either. Still gotta get to this stuff, but I don't think that's happening today. I have a strange feeling these are gonna explode in the near future. They're not looking too hot. They got some serious scale going on. The bolts are about through. I think if I'm changing stuff, I might as well change these. They're gonna go bad real quick. I think this is one of those things where if I get stopped and inspected, I don't need something asking for closer attention here. Yeah, it's almost through right there. I'm gonna change these next. And I'll keep going the rest of it. All right, well, we're back here. And we're rolling up for the night. As you can see, it's seven o'clock, it's getting dark. But uh, yeah, we got all three sets of hangers on here. Those are all done. I, um, the only thing left, there's supposed to be cross pipe in here and in there. And the old ones took one inch pipe. These I think are inch and a quarter. Um, so I just gotta get two pieces of pipe cut for that. Bring those down, I'll weld those in. And then uh, we've got the cross members back here to change out. I think what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take the excavator since there's an excavator here. And I'm gonna pick this up by the D-rings on the far side. So it'll go dunk, and I'll lean against the tires of my skidder. And that way it'll be standing up and it'll be real easy to uh, do the little bit of work I need on these I-beams. Um, if you look down here, there's a few tender spots. So I think what I, what I want to do is take a piece of uh, truck frame rail, because it's got a nice rounded corner, because up in the edge there isn't exactly perfectly 90 degrees. You couldn't really put a piece of angle iron in there. And I could just put a flat plate on the inside, but I think a piece of frame rail would be stronger because it'd come up and go out on the flange. But I'll stick a piece from somewhere up here back to here. I'll cut it so I've got the upper flange and then I'll come down and I'll cut it off. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I'll tip it up. And when it's tipped up, I can get these deck boards off the tail because I gotta change out these cross members here. So, and then, uh, I gotta straighten out that tank bracket and the other one is completely rotted, so I'll make a new one for over here. And we'll be getting close to putting the axles on. I might drag these into the shop. I'm really tempted to take them into the shop and uh, check the air cans, put air to them, see how those do. And pull the drums off. Um, maybe I'll blast and paint them, I don't know. I gotta stop somewhere on this thing, it's sort of a piece of junk. My piece of junk. I'll try to make it nice. Um, yeah, I got a front plate there. So I got to snip that old floor pan off. They just put a pan in the underside of the frame here. So I'm going to... I got another piece that will come a little wider. So I'll cut and grind that out of there. And I'll stick a new plate on. And I'll do something they didn't do. I'm going to put drain holes in it. Because obviously that thing just filled up with water. I don't know if they just left corner open or if they even did that it looks like it just rusted out pretty bad so it's a little pitted here so i think what i'm going to do i'll use a thicker piece of plate and i'll bring it all the way out and then i can weld the outer edge and the inner edge and that should take care of any pitting from the edge of that leave that fairly strong but the whole front of the trailer all the beams are good up here it's really just that second hanger back on this one side that's a little funky. So I'll throw a little extra in there and make it good. But hope you like what I'm up to. Also, let me know in the comment section. I've been going back and forth with it. I'm not sure whether you guys want to see more um, welding sped up or if you just want to see it where it goes. You know, the brackets go on one set at a time. Um, let me know. I aim to please on this stuff and uh, 
I don't know which way the people like it. So, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Have a good one.